Welcome. This is session number seven. In this session, we are going to explore text tools. To access text tools, you click on the text icon. You get a secondary toolbar with various icons. We have three choices here. We can create text using handwriting recognition tool, create a text box, or just create text anywhere on the page. The font and the font size are selected based on your settings in My Easy Teach, but they can be changed. To enter text in a certain spot, we can choose the Create Text tool, click in the spot we want to enter text, and then type. This icon will be the text color, and that will be the border color for your text box. So if you need to change your text color, you can click on a different color, go back to your Create Text, click anywhere on the page, and you can then start typing your text. To enter a text box, you would select the text box tool. Again, you have the text color and then the text box border color right there. And we can then start typing either through the on-screen keyboard or the keyboard on the laptop. The properties of this text can be altered. We can change the font, the size, and also the color. To get back in the text box, you double click. Then you can make it bold, italicize it, underline it. These four icons are the last four used advanced text tools. This icon will reveal or hide the advanced text tools. We have 13 choices. If the close tool, spell check, word bank, remove capitals, read with me, Highlight Word Tool, Subscript, Superscript, Open Symbol Bank, Text to Speech, Remove Punctuation. You can apply bullets and you can align your text. We'll explore them uh, in a minute. Again, on the right side is the text color and the border color. Another method to enter text is simply copying and pasting from another source. I'm on this website, I can, cop I can highlight the text I want to copy, right click, copy, and then I can go back to Easy Teach, go to my text tool, create text, click anywhere I want to paste it, and paste the text. Or I could go to create the text box tool and paste it within a text box. Now we can quickly change the font of this text. Make it bold, italicize, and modify the text as we like. The handwriting recognition tool only works in Windows 7 and Windows Vista Business. It may be grayed out uh, in Windows XP. It manages to recognize your writing, whether it's uppercase or lowercase, and also manages to make it a certain size. So if you write larger, it will convert it to a larger font type. If the handwriting recognition tool is an important tool for you, and if you are using Windows 7, then you should explore the tablet PC input panel in Windows 7. In the search window, type up tablet and click enter. It launches the input panel. Go to the Create Text tool, click where you want to enter the text, and then start writing. If you need to correct it, it allows for easy correction. 
if you need to go to a new line, and there are short video clips on how to make corrections that you can quickly watch to learn more about the input panel. In the next session, we'll learn more about the advanced text tools. Thank you very much.